Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Jay from Coding with Jaybird, where I upload weekly tutorials to help build your confidence in coding. Today we're going to talk about CSS selectors. Let's get started, shall we? A CSS selector is used to select or style an element that we want to style. Here's the CSS rule that we've learned so far. This H2 element here is our CSS selector. The color is the property and its property value is blue violet. We can also target classes and IDs as selectors. Let's have a look at our index.html file. I have three different divs, each with a class of block one, block two, and block three respectively. They all have H2 tags and some paragraph tags along with some anchor tags inside. Now let's say I didn't want all three of my H2 tags to be this blue violet color. Well, we can target elements that are nested inside other elements. And this is called a descendant selector and requires a space between the elements. So let's say I only wanted to target my second block, so this second heading. So I can grab this class of block two, add a space, and then write my H2. And now I can give this a color of, let's say, hot pink. And now we were able to select just one of the H2 tags on our page as opposed to all three. Now let's say I wanted this first paragraph in the first block to be a different color, like let's say green. Well, I'd have to come in here, grab the parent, so the block one class, and then create a space and I can target the next paragraph. Now because I have multiple paragraphs and I don't want them all to be selected, I can just grab this ID of top P. So once again, I'll use a space. So I'll write block one this time, space, number sign, top dash P, and now I can give this a color of green. And now we've effectively targeted just the first paragraph in that first section. We can also group CSS selectors if we want to apply the exact same styles to multiple elements on our page. This is done by separating the selectors with a comma. So now let's say I wanted my first block and my last block to have a background color of yellow. Well, I would simply grab their blocks. So let's say block one, so class of block one, comma, class of block three. And now I can write background color, light yellow. Oops, what have I done wrong? Let's ask my handy debugging duck, Tim. What have I done wrong? Ah. I didn't put my dot in front of block three. Okay, great. Now we've targeted both of our blocks, block one and block three. We can also combine descendant selectors along with grouping selectors. So now let's see, I only wanted my anchor tags in my second and third paragraph. So this anchor tag here and this one here to be the color red. So I can grab my block two space anchor tag comma, block three, space, anchor tag, and I can give it a color of red. Perfect. Now let's have a look at our last block. So block three, I have multiple paragraphs. So I've got four paragraphs and they all have a class of end. Some of them have a class of stretch and some have a class of shrink. So what if I only wanted to apply some styling, like let's say some letter spacing to this first paragraph. How would I target that? Well, we could try just saying end, and then let's say letter spacing. I want to give it five pixels. And now what we've done is we've taken all the paragraphs in here and styled them with that letter spacing, which I don't want. Now let's say I wanted to get stretch, so that first paragraph, since it has a class of stretch. So I can actually create a space here and write stretch, and let's see. It also doesn't work. So when you have two classes that are both targeting one element, you need to stick the two classes together. And now when I save this, you're gonna see that we were able to effectively apply the letter spacing styling just to that first paragraph. And that wraps up our CSS selectors video. If you've enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe so you can stay up to date with my videos. Until next week, keep on coding.